Kill switch NDAC laser installation guidance. Firstly, you will receive the NDAC laser with aluminum case packaged. Open the buckle on the case around four of them. Then two people can help to lift the cover, lift the case cover from it. Be carefully. Okay, the top one is laser guide arm. It's imported from Korea, take care. And this one is main unit. Lift the main unit to the ground. You will see spare parts package under the box. Mayonnaise and laser guide arm. Now go to accessories. Let's see the spare parts. First, it's the foot pedal. Second one is filter element for replacement backup. And this is all other accessories. First one is water funnel, but we have ingrate, upgrade to electrical one, not this one. And this is a power cord. Eyes cover for patient. Protective goggles for operators. And this one is door interlock need to install on the machine backside. We'll show you later. And this one is a key switch for the filter door backside of the machine. And this one is hexagon one hand screw used to install the light light guide arm. Okay, take care of the spare parts. Now let's go to see light guide arm. This is a guide arm. This is the main unit. Okay, take it off. First install the main guide arm. Take care of it. And take off the stickers the cover okay on cover on both and uh, tighten it you can also shake it slightly to confirm whether it is tightened then connect the wire now use a screw to install the handle bracket on the light guide arm according to our video Okay, then get the treatment handpiece. Take over the cover. Screw it on the handle. Then insert the wire into the corresponding tube. Put the treatment head into the holder you just installed. Okay, take care of all the accessories in case you need in future. Okay, now show how to add water. This is a funeral add water procedure. We ha it has been out of date. Actually, we update to electrical one. But let's tell you 
you will need four liters of purified water or distilled water, not other water, please. And uh, connect the inlet at water until it gets full. There are water level you can see. Okay, this is the water level you can see on the machine and uh, to the full water level, it will be okay. If less than refill, you will need to refill water. Okay, this shows the it has been full. Okay, this one is the electrical water filling device. Connect the power and put one side of the tube to the water and connect the white one to the inlet. Then click the start. You will hear some voice. You will hear some sound. It means you are adding water. Observe the water level line to the full position. So that will be okay. And turn off the switch. Press and hold the position of the water outlet to take off the water filling device. Now let's see the power cord, foot pedal, and door interlock. Okay, take off the power cord. Get the interlock. The smaller one. Get the interlock. Keep other accessories well. You will need in future. Okay, connect the power, oh, sorry, the door interlock to this position. You can see the first one is door interlock. The second one is foot pedal. Okay, connect it and insert it until you hear a click sound. Now, install the foot pedal. It's the same way as interlock. Insert it and push in. Here a click will be okay. If you want to take it off, press and hold the connection and gently pull out the pull out it, it will be okay. Okay, now let's turn on the machine and see a demo. Okay, get the power cord. Firstly, connect the power cord with the machine. This position. Okay, find the largest pin facing up and tighten it. Before you turn on the machine, please check all the accessories and uh, everything if connected well. The foot pedal, the door interlock, the water level line. And turn on the control switch back side of the machine, the blue one. Make sure the emergency button was out of it. Okay, then all is be confirmed safe. Now connect the power supply and turn on the switch. You will see the interface now. You will see two versions below. One is main control board software version. One is interface software version. The default power on password is 123456. Now you will see the self-checking system. 
make sure all parts are working well when you turn when you're working operate it. Okay, this is the parameters in on the interface. And this is a single pulse, double pulse, and a long pulse. Normally, we may use, uh, according to the parameters we send to you, so you can choose which mode you use. And the frequency is 1 to 10. Also, the wavelength. Okay, the setting interface, you can see the machine series number and how many shots you, you, you totally use. And aiming B is to adjust the light of the red one, the aiming beam. Adjust the color, light or silver. Okay, this one, this below are for interface adjustment and the language choice. This one is for engineering, you don't need to do that. Okay, you if you want to test, you can turn on it, be ready. You'll see the parameters there. And if you want to adjust the spot size, you can directly push the treatment head inwards slightly and then rotate it. So you can get different spot size. Okay, ready, click ready, you will see the guide. Press foot button, the laser energy will be emits. You will see the lights working on, working on. Okay, how to drain the water? Get the pipe from the funnel or from the electrical water filling device. You can just take one part from it. Normally, we suggest you to change water every one to three months. It depends on your operation uh, frequency. Water must be distilled water or purified water. Okay, connect to the drain position and pour out all the water. If you don't use the machine for a long time, better drain off it. Okay, so how to replace the filter element? There's a key switch for filter door from the spare parts package. So all the accessories are needed to be take care of them. Before you do this to change the replacement filter, you will need to drain all the water of it. Okay, now open the door and unscrew the filter carefully. Okay, pour out the water and take off the old one to put a new replacement of filter. Then Connect it. Connect and tighten it to the back side. Filter need to change one to three months. Also according to your operation frequency or a little more time is okay.